Keith Zare and um, I'm from Harper, Kansas. My name is Andrea Dick. I'm from Brazil. I'm Barry Weaver from Alberta, Canada. I'm Josh Dean from Harrisonburg, Virginia. I'm part of the Heston College Disaster Management Program. In the classroom, we're learning like how do you manage, how do you prepare for a disaster. We learn about MDS and other programs like FEMA, Red Cross, Salvation Army, how they respond to a disaster, look in depth to MDS, how they run financially, how they run with organizations and volunteers, and then, and then again with the homeowners. A lot of what happens in a disaster is trying to make things better so a reoccurrence doesn't happen. And then we have the hands-on experience right now where we're in the field working. So eight weeks out of the summer we do an internship. So fulfilling that with MDS down here. That's been the biggest biggest challenge. The more the more technical side of construction. Bring it down a quarter inch here. The long term staff, they, they do a really good job in, in helping us out and trying to teach us how everything's supposed to work. I wasn't really sure what to expect, just more vivid to come down here myself and experience it. Part of the best part, it's getting to know the homeowners. The Barcos. The Thompsons family. John Crothers. Oh, definitely. And John Crothers has been a, a particular favorite project for me to work on. I was there uh, for this for the footings and have been there all the way since. And now we have the roof on and getting ready for siding and drywalling. So I've made a definite relationship with him. I love working on their house every day. When Edith comes back, she usually you know, has ice cream or popsicles and makes us just feel, she's just really hospitable and friendly. When they share about their story, you feel more excited to keep working. You have all become part of our family forever. Because of MDS and because of Salvation Army and the recovery team, I'm starting to put my life back together. Yay. When we cut this ribbon, we walked through this door, we got home again. <laughs>for the home dedication we had, like they were saying thank you all the time and I say I have to say thank you because I gained more that I have been given, so. That was really an eye-opening experience to me, knowing that we are making a difference in individuals' lives. MDS does really good work and they help out so many people. It's amazing how many people contribute financially and through the work here and I've never met so many great people um, anywhere else. It's just great how much I'm learning. Construction-wise, personally, and spiritually, too. How is not the material, but what is really important for life. And knowing that when I serve, I'm serving the person and not trying to get anything back, but just sort of the way Christ loved us, I'm to love my neighbors. There's many different ways you can go with the disaster management degree, either in social work, I could become a, an inspector. I don't know where God will lead uh, in that direction, but if it is in any kind of trade, it will be construction. Right now, I'm looking to go to EMU and finishing up uh, in business management. I have just one more semester, and I'm probably working for MDS for the other semester so I can graduate with everyone. So I want to work for MDS. It's not the last time. <laughs> I hope not.